Hey guys, Destry here, giving you more Dragon Balls Universe 2 content. And it's finally here guys, we have the free update for DLC 16. I know that that DLC actually got delayed, but the free update still came out. Also sorry I'm a bit late to the party, but uh, well, I had to work. Anyways, uh, who the hell? Never mind. Um, so this video we're going to be talking about the new Beast Awoken skill that was unlocked for all CACs, not just Saiyans, so finally we got something that everybody can use. And I have not unlocked it yet, I'm actually going to be going through the steps now. Uh, real quick, before I head on to what I'm doing next, uh, if you open the game after the update, it would tell you what to do to kind of go through the steps to unlocking it, but it, I'm going to also put it up on screen right now. So the first thing you'll need to do is have... Gohan and Videl, which if you've seen my previous videos, I do have a video strictly on those two and what their skills are, how you make them your mentor and all that stuff. And Piccolo. You're going to need them both. Max style friendship. If you still don't know how to easily max out friendship, I've made multiple videos on that. You can check back on my channel and I will leave some links in the description below. So anyways, uh, why I am here is because I had to um, raise my friendship level with Piccolo because I never uh, used him really like in parallel quests and stuff in this version that I have for the PlayStation. So that's what I was doing. He's there now. If for some reason you guys would like to see a video of me actually raising up his level and their level because they're both down there right now. Uh, let me know, and I can go ahead and make one for you guys. I can create a new character for that, but if you guys have seen any of my previous videos, you should know what to do at this point. I've said it probably at least a thousand times in all of my videos. Also, you see the guy back there? Advancement test desk? Yeah. Remember where that is. I still get a lot of comments, especially on my newer videos, about that. They're still going to talk to Gohan and Videl, or Gotenks, or Pan, and they keep saying that they can't because... They can't train with them because they keep saying they're too weak. You have to talk to that little robot that's next to Elder Kai. You have to do that and you have to complete the required uh, class level. Like I said, if you've seen my previous videos, I explain all that in there. So if you're still confused, watch those. Piccolo, I believe he's unlocked the minute you unlock him in the story, you can go and train with him. And anyways, yeah, that's not the purpose of this video. If you guys need that, I have made videos on that already. Or I could just answer questions in the comments below. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him now, since I just leveled up his friendship. I already did it with Gohan and Videl, so I don't need to do it with them. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see what he has to say. After you get all those three, I don't know if you'll you'll get that as well when you just unlock it. But as again, I've never trained with him really prior to this. So you're going to hit the option that says I want to train even more. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and talk mm. to him again. That was mm. not for that. <laughs> now you want to hit the option that says let's bar. And would you look at that? We got Cell Max in the back. We got uh, both Piccolo right there. And then we got Gohan. So let's go ahead and get this going. Are you this strong? I don't think so. This can't be over yet. No way. I can still do this. He didn't know if you take him out quick enough that happens. Oh, it's all this now we just gotta wait a second, and there we go. This is the new beast skill. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna go ahead and 
finish this and then we'll do a quick skill test with this and some of the other forms. Probably more notably Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. And I feel like those would be the best tests of how this skill does. Ego, bye bye. There it is, just says Beast. Alright, we just got back from the little training session right there. So as you can see, we're going to go ahead now and equip the skill so you can see it is there. There it is. Unleash the Beast Within and gain a massive power boost. While transformed, your attacks and key recovery are boosted. And we get a new combo string. Pretty, pretty cool. We're just going to go ahead and talk to him again, make sure he has nothing else to say. You can still spar again, you could probably do the mission over again if you would like to. Alright guys, I'm back. Yeah, that was just the same mission over again, so if you want to replay, uh, I guess, fighting Cell Max before the raid comes out, there you go. Uh, I just went ahead and cut that out because it was the same thing I just did. So now what we're going to go do, well... Before I do that, let me say a couple other things real quick. Um, just as a general rule for any of these, I've said this before, but I know I'll still get questions on it. Make sure you complete the story first. A lot of like, if you didn't even know that these two people were here at this point, you haven't gotten far enough in the story and you haven't watched my other videos. So I'd recommend you boo, you boo, you, you go do both of those. And another thing is, I would also highly recommend you get to max level. I don't know if there's a particular level you need to be at to unlock the Beast Transformation. You might just need to do all the prerequisites, but if you need to level up and you want to get to max level, and you've completed the story, if you go up here, there's a Super Soul that increases the amount of XP you get per mission. There was also a raid that gave you one that did it... Uh, like it tripled it and you also come talk to this guy this guy will come in handy when you're trying to level up quickly if you're low level he'll only offer or he'll only exchange any for levels if you're higher I forget what will love I think it's level 50 or something you pass then he'll start taking your TP medals which is a bit more taxing but also easy to get so I would recommend if you're not max level yet and you want to be uh, remember to go to Namek so you can unlock the level 99 transformation if you didn't remember how to do that. And come talk to him. Go do a couple missions. I would recommend doing the Great Ape Festival mission. And put on the 40 ton weights, which is the super soul you get from going up there after you beat the game. Or the other one. Because that one will give you a lot of XP. And you can also have an easier time collecting Dragon Balls. Because if you collect the Dragon Balls, you can also wish for more EXP. And it'll just make the process a lot quicker. So him... The mission and the Dragon Balls. That's all I wanted to say about that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and go into training now, just to do a quick skill comparison between uh, this new Awoken and then some of the other ones that we've gotten recently. I probably won't do Super Saiyan and all that because I feel like you guys really wouldn't care about that too much. You probably are more interested in how this fares up against Super Saiyan Blue Evolved and Super Saiyan God and stuff like that. So I'll probably be doing mainly those two. Anyways, I will see you in there. Alright guys, here we are in a training match. We're going to start off with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolved skill first. And we'll go ahead and do it with appearances. The animation itself, pretty fucking dope. Uh, you see no hair change, you guys know this already. Let's go ahead and do a quick damage test. We'll do the regular uh, score combo. Redo. Alright, let's try that again. Square combo. Doing about almost 6300 in damage. You can see the numbers right there. We'll go ahead and do the triangle combo now. Roughly the same. We'll do the square Y combo. Uh, 
about 88 damage, 88 hundred damage. And now let's go ahead and do some of the super attacks. We'll do revenge, final flash. Probably could have used a better one, but this is just my favorite skill in general. Doing a full blast. Does about 7,000 damage with Super Saiyan Blue Evolve. We'll do Wild Buster now. About 6,000 damage. Respectable. Now let's go ahead and do these ultimates. We're going to start with Emperor's Death Beam. I went ahead and got Meditation just so I can have a full key bar to do the max damage for this. I know I didn't have to charge, but I like the animation. That's a lot of damage. Okay, sorry. Um, oh yeah, you see about 2,500 damage with the full um, Emperor's Death Beam. And that was with... Um, I have Broly's Super Soul on and a level 6... Uh, Thing. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do a strike ultimate now. And the next test, when I do Super Saiyan God, I will put on strike supers. Cause I figured that would make more sense with the strike based character. But I figured I would do it with this one just to show you guys anyway. There's about 24,000 points of damage. It's a lot. Alright, so you can see how much damage that did. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Super Saiyan God now. And we'll also try out some Strike Supers. And then we will go on and test out the Beast Transformation. Alright, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and just go right into Super Saiyan God. Also a very nice transformation, but one we've seen probably a dozen times at this point. And so let's go ahead and since I have this... Let's do the combos again, since this was a more strike focused transformation than the evolved one. Let's start with the square combo. Seventy seven hundred. Not bad, not bad. Triangle combo now. I didn't hit him with the full thing. Only 400, not bad. Score in the triangle. Ten K damage. Very good, very good. And I went ahead and put on a random uh, strike super, so we can see just what that does. Uh, Forty-one hundred damage. And I put on, oh, I put on a different super, uh, I mean strike, not, ah! I put on another, I'm keeping this in the video, by the way, okay. I put on a different key super, but that's for later. And anyways, we're going to go ahead and do Godly Display again, because that is a strike ultimate. Thirteen K damage, not as much as the other one, uh, I think that's because the... Uh, blast part does count as a key attack, so that's why he also did a little bit more damage on that. But anyways guys, that is that for the two other transformations. Now let's go ahead and get to what everybody's been wanting to see, which is the beast form. So let's go ahead and get into that, I will be right back. Alright guys, here we are, and without further ado, let's go ahead and transform. I really just put on the wig to see if it would actually change with the wig on, and I'm glad it did. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. One thing you'll notice out the bat is that there is a stance change. He's not just standing in the regular position anymore, which is awesome. I'm glad they finally did that with another skill besides Super Saiyan 3. Also, the aura itself, everything looks amazing. I know I'm going into more detail on this than the other ones, but, I mean, come on. It's the new stuff. Real quick, it looks like when you charge... Not normal, looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get in with the skills test. Starting with the square combo as again. About 
6k damage. Nice. I will try to put up the numbers for what the previous two were um, in the video somewhere. And now we're going to do the triangle combo. Another 6k damage. Square in the triangle. Now, almost 12k damage. And as you noticed, maybe you didn't, but if you didn't, uh, I didn't do the attack the exact same way it told me to do it in the um, that little preview window for the skill. This is what it said to do was triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. You get that, which is 10k damage, which is very nice. But I'm going to do it again just to show you, if you do the square in the triangle, it also does it. You get a little bit more damage out of it, so good to know. Also, if you guys didn't know, it's wrong one. Sorry. You can also teleport with this skill. Not like that. So it kind of works like a Super Saiyan one. You can see a lot of combo potential out of that. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and check out the supers now. We'll do the destructive fracture one. Five K. I think that was a little bit more than what you got from the Super Saiyan God skill. We'll do super explosive wave for the super. Five K. I know I didn't use this skill on the. Uh, evolved one, my bad, I'll put up the numbers right now. And now let's go ahead and get into the ultimates. We'll start with Godly Displaces, that was the one we did last time. Sixteen thousand damage. Didn't do as much as the blue evolved one, that's fine. I'm also going to go ahead and just use this here. I know it's not necessary, but it looks cool. And now let's go ahead and try Sign of Awakening. Now, as again, with the last go, I will go in and put in the number for what I got, what the blue, um, what Super Saiyan, yeah, Super Saiyan Blue evolved in here. Let's just go ahead and see what this looks like. Eleven K damage. So. It is about a 30-ish percent increase across the board for most of the skills. Now, the downside is that you do take more damage, which is something I will actually show you here. Go put this guy to fight. We're going to put also regular health so we can see the damage. And we'll put him on super strong. Why not? Gonna let him wail on me for a bit so you guys can see the damage I'm taking. You can see he also just hits very hard, he's cheering after all. But you see that's around, you know, let's give or take the damage I'm taking. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart and uh said restart then go ahead and put him back on uh, not doing anything real quick restart and put my health back up to normal or back up to where it was all right now I'm gonna transform And I'm going to go ahead and put them back on, and then we can see the damage. I believe it's a 20% damage increase. Like our defenses are 20% lower now. Let him hit on me a bit. You can see we're definitely taking quite a bit more damage, so it's supposed to be a give and take to where you can do more damage, but you're also taking more damage. So I think a fair trade-off because this does give you decent power, I'm going to say. Pretty, pretty decent power. So 
you can see here, I'm just doing basic stuff and hitting them still pretty hard. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you guys back out in the overworld. Alright guys, this is gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're looking forward to DLC 16 when that does drop. And if you like the video, you can leave a like and comment down below anything you'd like to see next. And if you'd want to see more from me, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm getting really, really close to 1,000 subscribers. So if you could just go ahead and subscribe, maybe hit the little bell down there so you guys can see when I make a video. So that way, if you guys keep asking me the same questions, I might be able to, you know, help you. And that's about it for me, guys. I will talk to you later. See ya.